You're dead. What it do? What it do, guys? We had a DVG, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys may have noticed that uh, Edward got a little buff. I'm pretty sure I, I posted a, a, a message about that. Essentially, he's like Fighter Maya. I should say he has a hundred percent timeless anchor, pretty much, right? As but his uh his S two where it sends back a debuff, you know, the one when he equivalent change when he slammed the ground rise. It's only a one turn once per turn. So that means that as long as he keep getting debuff, he will keep stripping it off. He's like a better version of uh, A Taoan, pretty much, right? He can't be debuffed technically anymore, depending on what comp the enemy bring, and I highly doubt he'd be able to get debuff because nobody's run a, a control comp nowadays, right? Nobody's gonna bring enough debuff to actually control Edward, so... What does make him good? Uh... It make him better. <laughs> That's about it. It won't... Like, I still think he's balanced, all in all. Like, his damage is okay. I don't know I don't know how much they increased the damage of his rise, because they did increase the damage of his S2 by... We don't know. So we gotta wait and see till tomorrow. But I'm assuming it's gonna be a little bit better than... Uh, I think mine's gonna hit about 4K or 3K, right? I'm assuming it's gonna hit for a 6K, two more K more, right? It's, I'm hoping that it hit for a little bit more, but... I don't know, I think he's gonna be... He's still fine, right? He's not your typical one-shot hero. He's not your Wyung and Rimuru and uh, A-Ravi. He's your turn two stacking, building, eight attack, carry hero. Oh, I know, we got a times 10 summon. So we're gonna do these times 10s real quick because I did a little streaming of, my, you guys might as well see what, uh, what day two have in store for me. Or is it day three? I don't know. And usually it's just a bunch of three stars. I hope you guys get something good in this because so far I have yet to get anything good. Anything good at all, actually. Christy, I'll take that, actually. I think I talked too soon. And she was... And it's a... Please don't be a dupe. Please don't be a dupe! It's a dupe! <laughs> I don't think I ever got another MO5 for a dupe, but I think this makes my S10 SSS. i go check, actually, after this. Wow, I haven't gotten a uh, ML5 from Covenants for for three years, actually. The last one I got was ML Cannon. He was my first ML5 on this account. And apparently STD was my second. Please be a five-star artifact that I don't have. I guess it's four-star. I need those anyway. Three more. So I hope you guys get something real good. I don't mind the S10 in all honesty. Because I play with a bunch of Tenebrius. All right, let's go uh, see. All right, Tenebria, she's missing four more imprints. Amazing. Fairy Tale, she's missing one more imprint. Beautiful. Uh, Spectre Tenebria with a random artifact because I don't have any other artifacts. She has zero imprints. Beautiful. I'm more inclined to put Spectre Tenebria in the Fairy Tale just because uh, it doesn't matter at this point because she could use Fire Tenebra and I'm pretty sure Fire Tenebra might have a banner at some point. But I feel like if I just throw it in a uh, Fairy Tale, I gotta worry about the rest of the imprints. And I don't even use Spectre Tenebra, that's the problem. I don't use it for anything else, even though she's geared, right? I just don't... I, I like her design, like I like the character. It's just that I just don't play with my Moonlight units as much because I play with other random stupid crap. So I'm gonna throw this in uh, Fairy Tale Tenebria. You guys are probably like, why the humanity? I say, I don't give a damn. <laughs> it doesn't matter, all the Tenebrias will be the same. Boom. And now I can work on the rest of the Tenebrias if I actually find a Tenebria. How, do you, how many of you guys are like crying inside? I know you guys are. But today we are gonna be playing with Sorella, or try to, because I am gonna switch up her gear because tomorrow is Thursday and that's when Pav will come out. And if we win this GVG or I get 50 more bookmarks, or I reroll the uh, secret shop, I will be able to get Pavel full of charms because I have full pity for him, right? So, I was planning on switching Cirilla's gear with a tax set to Pavel, if it's uh, with some minor adjustments, but I'm hoping that it will be good and switch Cirilla to like a revenge set. We gave her proof of valor because uh, I don't have any other artifact. <laughs> so we're gonna give her proof of valor. All right, game number one. We're gonna bring the exact same team for top, not the exact same place because we have a SSS uh, Fairy Tale Tenebrio for the extra HP. Woohoo! So, 
We're gonna go up by complete chance. We might completely lose this if he's way fast. He should be. This is because my uh, fairy tale is not the fastest. She's only 240 speed. She's 200, and I think she's 250. She is 259. So that time my Luca will have to be around 260 or 250 higher than that. So this is gonna be interesting. I'm assuming that his fairy tale is the fastest on this team, and then follow up is gonna be uh, time my Luca. It's gonna be fun to see how bad I'm gonna lose this. And then by the way, we got uh, Wonder Sid 280 speed. Uh, Sid give it 10 more speed. So she's 290. Sid 240. And uh, 200. I don't know. I'm just hoping that uh, something bad does, doesn't happen to my team. This is all for fun, though. Let's ready? see. We are faster than their top model Lulica by a whole lot. So we're going to do a victory pose all oh, over them because I feel like we are the better top model Lulica. So we're gonna do this. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna give him a high five, say like, yo, girl, what's up? That's a Your nice dress you got. Bam! <laughs> like, oh god. Uh, uh, of course you got disqualified from the <laughs> from the model top of competition. <laughs> and then we'll give him T for a uh, consolation prize, right? Good attempt. Uh, Unfortunately, one of them got candlesticks. So we're gonna hit with the good nightmare. And it seems like one of the Tenebrias does not have a skill on. Is it it's not school girl Tenebria? Of course it is cool to the It's the best to leave skin. There are no tricks here. There's no tricks here. Resist, okay. Might be a full effect, right? We never know. Victory is mine. So what a sword brother it should be the kill because it's the first break and you know, Tom Aluka be Tom Aluka. Welcome to Wonderland. But unfortunately S1 is not Mulagor, so that's fine. We're the superior to Nibria squad. With Tom Aluka as a backup. You gotta protect the competition, right? Teach you a All right, we are gonna definitely send this one back, <laughs> without a doubt. As you never know what she might do. We might get 15% in here. Okay, we did not. Uh, is it my turn? We want to see if you go for strats. Like I said, my sit is usually not built. He's there for bait. Ooh. So, you're the one I'll be fighting. <laughs> I think you guys that are very uh, old to the channel, you guys don't know what I'm, you guys exactly what I'm gonna say. We are trying to go for this 30% chance because we have the E to grant an extra turn. A 30% chance for the EE. Now the thing is, it doesn't matter if it kills, right? We get a we get a full reset if it kills. But it'll it'll suck that we didn't get the 30% to kill another unit. Trust me. Because they've got to deal with silences for days. Yeah. Okay, we didn't get a 30%. Oh, no. Everything <laughs> away. We're gonna go for her. Sure. And give her a big smooch on the face. You'll be so much more useful. <laughs> I don't think she liked that. It, it, let her, it let down her guard, you know. And I'm going to take uh, Bella for a couple of turns. She has justice. Okay, we're going to lose this one. Oh, she's still silenced because two turns silence. Please don't hurt me. Please don't ask me. Oh my god. Uh, we're going to hit this one just a bit. Daddy. And then we're gonna give her a big smooch. Uh, uh, thirty percent. <laughs> That's a nice body. Else? As we uh just completely murdered her. <laughs> All right, game number two. I mean, it's such a good move because that's the first time I seen an ML five. Well, not the first time, but the second time I seen an ML five during a cover of seven. And today has been great. So. We're going to extend that greatness to the enemy team by bringing Reza, Haste, and Top Malulu can because uh, I feel like we could probably do something here. They're all beefy. That's some obvious solution I could bring, like uh, LQC and whatnot. But you already, guys already know, I like to try different comps every now and then. And then by the way, we got Edward, Sorella, and then Dillabet because we need somewhere to cleanse all this stuff off. And when well, Edward get his buff tomorrow, not today. Whenever she uses her S2, he will close off one buff. And then when she get a bomb, and then she uses her S3, he has a chance, depending which one, it might either be unbuffable or the bomb that will get placed on him. If you get a uh, bomb placed on him, he will strip that off. And then if you get provoked by Sia, he will strip that off. It's, it's, it's a win-win situation. All right, so a -Rav is way down there. So we're the S3 to see how many defense breaks we get. So we actually have shoes, so it's an 80% chance to land this defense break. Okay, we did not Already land it complete. at all. Victory is mine. On Wayang, and I know for a fact we won't be able to kill Wayang. So we're gonna go this for a high five for Shu. Like, yo, 
Nice giant rat you got there. Bam! <laughs> Here we go, stealth. And I think we are gonna exploit some weaknesses. We shouldn't die here, technically. But Tom Maluka got now got the uh I lie, we should die here. <laughs> it makes complete sense. And then Hate should also die here because he's like dead. So there's no way for Tom Maluka to actually do this. We do got the increased twenty percent increased damage. I like reduced damage. And then they also got the the, the great dual attack. No, Makes sense. Have to win. <laughs> Almost. If it was Mulligore, we probably would have killed. So Gamma the Oath, we're gonna send this back, see what we get. So Silence, that's actually amazing. Goblet of oak. I'm gonna take another turn, but we have all these debuffs that we need to get rid of. Let's deal a bit. You can beat me in a in million, million years. years. You think you can Ooh. just ruin my masterpiece? I'll try you. I just know we get two designers on both teams, by the way. So Grace of the Battlefield. Seems gonna be a hard cookie to crack. Do you hear me? No, please don't hear us. And what a come now. This bomb is going to be a pain in the derriere. All right, so we're going to just hit him with an S3. Try to get Zinnia's HP as low as possible. Ow. So, you're the one I'll be fighting? We're going to hit him with that S2. If we kill, we get a full reset. Maybe a 30%. That'd be a uh, good time that 30% didn't work. But she don't have an attack buff, so that's good. I mean, a counter. Full metal, baby. Come on, strip that that stealth off. We have to restrict. That's good. Boom. Ah! It hurts. She has Goblin O, so it's a good chance she's gonna have her S2. I've been two turns, so we're gonna keep her silence for now. Holy sack! Who does this? We're gonna try to keep her silence. I'll give you. No! No, Sarah La <laughs> Dual attack was lucky enough, but we should be able to clean this up. In all honesty, Dilibet will cleanse this off. And then he'll get full of metal. And send it back. Uh, by send it back, I mean it won't do nothing. We're gonna do this. Sarella, <laughs> she was so close to greatness. She just want to give everybody a big smooch. I did like zero damage considering I'm on a revenge set and I'm laughing at her. <laughs> if you guys wonder why my Dillabans might be fast, she's on a revenge set also. So, <laughs> she's, she be zooming. All right, last game, we are going to bring Romaine, Pavel, and uh, SBA because Pavel's getting his blue light tomorrow. And if you guys that are new to the channel, he is on a counter. Why? Because I said so. He has zero Mulligores besides the the, the one, two Mulligores. It's only because like four Mulligores to get. So he's not going to do that much damage. But he is on Ducks Noctis, which I'm going to have to unfortunately steal for ML Pavel. So that's the thing. 232 crit damage, 100% crit chance, and uh, 1400 defense and 1400 uh, HP. He's pretty, he's pretty thick. I think it's pretty funny. But people don't expect Pavel on the counter. And by the way, we got Romori, Leo, uh, Emma Kawazu, and Demilio. Leo is getting a uh, EE. So for you guys that don't know, Leo's getting an EE tomorrow also. Pretty much, he has a 30% chance when you use Go Raku to, uh, to use Fire Shock Bomb, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I did this. So he has, if he lands bombs, right, it's 100% now. It used to be 80%. I used to hate that when I was up. Uh, Big Moonlight Leo fan, but it's a thirty. It was a thirty. It was a eighty percent chance to land these bombs. Now it's a hundred percent, so he's gonna land these bombs. He have an effect on this, and then a thirty percent chance to actually use his S two, which means we have another thirty percent unit with a EE. So we're gonna use Sorella and Leo together eventually. So there's that. These are my Leo stats: four K attack, two twenty speed, and stuff like that. Eighty eight effectiveness, and he's got well awarded this because I want to blow something up. But we're bringing the meal for extra souls, so we can actually uh, land souls, right? This this might be uh, 
One big mistake. We're gonna get minus attack here, which is gonna be okay. Oh, it's fifteen percent. Okay. Teach me. Uh, what do soul birds do we have on our team? Pavel and Gris another turn, but he won't be able to use that right now. Uh, I'm gonna go for another. I'm gonna Give just strip up off everything or try to strip off two buffs. You'll lose no matter what. And Silas, right? Okay, we didn't take. I wasn't gonna hit her, by the way, but then she decides she want to wake up today. I don't like that. I don't like when Rams decided like they want to wake up and have a good day. It's not good for my soul. We're gonna hit her because. Please. Attack. Proof of Valor. Okay, who does this? Boom, boom, boom. I'll have to warm up. Alright, we're gonna drop this on her head. See who we stunned. If they're not all effect rest, then we might have a better time. But Proof of Valor and her. Alright, the obvious choice we might go for we Ram. Fight. Fight. Proof of Valor, huh? Let's get started. Who the hair? 30 uh 30 70% chance because she's oh nothing. Goodbye. Show me what you've got. All right. Well, that's this is a dud. Now, let's we're gonna do this. Boom, boom, counter. Okay, everything's going bad. Rams are waking up today. She hit my pad with us and earth it. The only reason I put them on counter was to counter Ram, by the way. But apparently, this is not gonna be good today. Complete my task. The time has come. And then, might as well create me. We got a counter. Cool. Got our first counter. Okay. Oh, better. It makes sense. Too weak. Yeah, pal, you're too too weak. Once you see a moonlight counter for how how much stronger you might so get, Orius. And she has this is <laughs> she has snow crystal, which is fine because we don't really crit here. Rage. We're gonna drop this I'll and get my revenge one day. Get fifteen percented by shoe. It makes sense we didn't land her because she's Earth, but all right, we're gonna so burn to see what we like strip you. off. Are oh, worth fighting at least. Okay, we got 50 presented by her. We're gonna blow her up real quick. Boom. The warrior's definitely doing some work. Mixie's grace. And then the whole carry is gonna be Emma Kawazu. We're gonna blow up the very next turn, so I'm not too worried about that. Move or die. I'm gonna kick her in the face. I don't know about the orange. She might be bulky. I didn't look at her HP, so no, not bulky enough. I hope you're ready. So we'll get rid of this because we need a snow crystal. Okay, we need to. A... Oh, she's on counter set. Okay. Okay. It depends on how lucky he gets. It seems like he's gonna be extremely lucky. It should kill him on Kawazu. Who wants to get beaten up? Kill her. Okay. I got lucky, but at the cost of everything I love. There's no point in me soul burning because she's gonna blow up. But we need to do some more damage to her. Okay. Get my revenge one day. Get your revenge. Pretty durable, huh? Get your revenge. But you'll have to surrender. No crystal. Skill no lead. Boom. Don't do that. Don't stop that, please. Okay. I can't let evil win. Can't let evil win. Not not today. Not today. Like I said, I'm in a good mood, so that was fine by me. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's GVG. I had my fun. Hope you guys are gonna have your fun tomorrow or today or whatever. Well, we guys, like I said, have a good roll of your times 10 uh, free subs because I'm pretty sure we're going to get more times 10 tomorrow. I don't know. I think they changed it to times 10. And I, I just, look at the patch notes. It's something about changing like uh, one summon to seven days to like times 10 to actually be at a times 10. So, and it's retroactive. So, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't, so, I don't know. Look at patch notes. I might be reading that wrong. But, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys around. Peace.